Last week we said goodbye to our friends and family and traveled for 26 hours from Amsterdam to a hidden paradise in Mexico. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I can't speak proper English anymore. <laughs> Two more hours to go. Since then we are exploring this beautiful little village. They even have some crocodiles over here. Met amazing people and went for crazy adventures. Welcome to Bacalar. Bacalar is located in the Mexican state Quintana Roo. You can take a flight to Chetamal and from there it's about a 30 minute drive to the center of Bacalar. They say that the town was sacked by pirates in the 17th century. A little side note, not that many people know about Bacalar and in some way it felt a bit double to make a video about this beautiful place. It is beautiful to share, but when you share more people will know about this hidden gem. When visiting this place, keep in mind that this is not a mass tourist destination. We should all treat it with care. Good morning. I woke up this morning and I hear birds everywhere. So yesterday we arrived in Mexico. We met someone on the plane who told us about this place. So we decided to just book a flight ticket. We booked two hours before the flight and it was possible. And now we are here in Bacalar. The coffee place is closed. She said she'd open at 7, but I think they're in a different time zone <laughs> because it's almost 8. <laughs> It's a beautiful morning and actually I'm so proud we woke up at 7 but everything is still closed and we really want to have a coffee. I don't know where we can find a coffee at this time. <laughs> and the sun is out. Oh my god, I miss the sun so much on my face. Hola. La cocinera. La cocinera. Oh, oh. Mira, si comida rica mexicana. Mucha comida, mucha comida. Sí. Yes. 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 Oh my god! Yes. 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 Oh my god, that's so cute. He wants to catch my microphone because it's a big clusen thing. Mexican specialty. Dus hoe ze hier koffie maken is gewoon melk opwarmen. Poeder geven wat koffie met karamel gemixt is. Dat is echt niet slecht. <laughs> is het hier wat anders dan onze handgemalen filterkoffie? He asked us if we wanted to eat here and we said yes, of course. <laughs> It looks so good, it's an egg with tomato and beans, cucumber and avocado. That's echt heel lekker. And the family is eating there. After the delicious breakfast with friendly Mexicans, we decided to do a short workout before starting our day. Sweating! <laughs> that great with all the moving and somehow I made it to the round of 21s. I couldn't wish for any better score than this. Proud of you. Thank you. Let's shower and eat. I mean, I don't have a washing machine you here, so... You even have it on your nose and... 
Hey, 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 hey. Hello. <laughs> Today we're going with a kayak in the water in Bacalar. And to I see think seven colors of blue. Maybe we are going to spot some crocodiles. And we just bought a GoPro and we're not sure yet if it's waterproof, but we're yes. about to find out. Today the weather is a little bit gray, but I think it's still going to be super beautiful. Ahí vamos. These are our neighbors Paloma Laura and Francesco from Italy. Together we're going on this kayak adventure. Right now we're walking in the center of Bacalar. This part of town is really beautiful. In the streets of Bacalar you can see everyone working on the street. This part is done, it has a lot of beautiful trees. Francesco from Italy. Francesco. Laura Paloma from Italy. Yeah, from the same city. That's so nice. Yes. Moment of truth. Right now we're in the lake Bacadar. They even have some crocodiles over here. Let's hope we will stay far away from the crocodiles, but it will be so cool to see one though. They say that the lake has seven colors. Today it's a bit windy and cloudy, so I don't know if we're going to see the seven colors. So far we've seen two. The sun is out. <laughs> We arrived at the Cenote Negro. Cenote Negro is one of 6,000 plus 6,000 cenotes in all of Mexico. The Cenote is basically a place where the ground has been hollowed out through ages and ages of water coming through. So there's a lot of Whoa, underwater caves here. in here, different kind of wildlife and fish in here. And this one is called Cenote Negro because clearly if you look at the water, you can see it's just pitch, pitch black in here. Right over there you can see really clear the different colors of the lake. So over there it's really bright, light blue and dark. I'm so glad we didn't swim in the other place because we asked one man in the boat tour, can we swim? And he said, yeah, it's no problem, just be careful and wear your life jacket. And then there were like five boats coming and they said, there is a crocodile of two and a half meters in this area. So I'm really happy we didn't swim. We didn't see the crocodile though. We got super thirsty, so we made a stop at a place where they sell cocktails. The wind was too strong, we couldn't paddle back. We went for one and a half hour with the kayak from all the way from there and we wanted to go to there but we did not make it until there. The kayak company picked the kayaks up and we drank with good company cocktails all night. We arrived at a bar and we met people we saw at the bus station and at the ATM. We kind of lost you guys from that point. Good morning guys. Okay, we lost you yesterday. It was a really nice start of Mexico. But now Robin has a tough time. So today we're going on a boat trip with the people we met over here. I think it's going to be so beautiful. First Robin has to recover. Feeling all fresh. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. <laughs> it's so warm today. It's going to be hot on the boat, I think, but I'm ready to get a tan. We bought some sunscreen and we are so ready for the boat tour. And to get a tan again and some blonde hair. Hola, señor. Hola, Buenos dias! Buenos dias, <laughs> chicos! ¿Qué tal? ¿Todo bien este día? We are on our way to the boat. Robin is still alive. I got this, I got this. <laughs> Adios! Adios! <laughs> Adios. <laughs> we just arrived in paradise. This place is insane. This is Lola! We met each other yesterday three times. Today we're going on a boat tour. A sailboat. On a sailboat. It's nice and sunny and perfect. And we have almost the same hat. That's really cute. <laughs> it's great. This water is so warm. 
It's so clear, I can't even imagine that it's gonna be even bluer. This place really is like paradise. The color of the water is just insane. It's so blue. got a really big problem. I want to go for dinner and I was leaning with my hand on the thing in the bathroom. I forgot the name and it just dropped down. Look at this. Oh my god, it's so bad. What am I doing? And Robin already left to the restaurant because I was still editing the vlog. I'm just going to call the guy at the reception. Does it work? Few moments later. Okay, yes, the man made it. I'm so thankful. The man of the reception, he fixed it very quickly. <laughs> he just called a taxi and right now I'm going to a place where everybody is and we're going to eat some sushi. Hello guys. Last night we had an amazing night at the sushi bar. The food was so good. It was just really dark so I couldn't really film. At the moment it is 3.30 at night. I'm super tired. I'm not really sleeping like a baby cutie and right now i'm going to sleep because i'm so tired okay see you tomorrow good night guys all right leaving our first hostel <sighs> we're a little bit in a rush because we don't know where to stay and what to do we want to go check out uh, cenote azul but it's already noon and didn't even eat yet we're gonna have to hurry adios so part one is over. We were planning on staying here for one day and we stayed for four. Oh, I'm feeling like a mess. This day was so cheap and beautiful. We stayed for 13 euros per night, so 7.50 per person. It was very basic. We didn't even have hot water. It was perfect for us. Close to the center, close to the restaurants. We had nice food with Mexicans and we just fell in love with this cute little town. Right now we're searching a taxi. I'm really feeling like a turtle and a tourist because look at all the bags. And Robin is so fast and I'm so slow. I really love it. You hear nice happy music everywhere when you're walking on the street. We made a quick stop for some drinks. Traditional Mayan drinks. Traditional Mayan drinks. Gracias. Coconut and cacao. Uh, 13. So this drink is super sweet, very coconut. How is your sushi? It's okay. This is tasting nice, but I don't know what I really think about this taste. It's nice, but not nice. Okay guys, Robin didn't really like it. He threw it away. I think I can't finish mine either. Oops. We dropped our bags at the hotel of our friends and went for one last stop in Bacala. We What's just arrived at Cenote Azul. This is the blue azote in Bacalar. And I think it is going to be so beautiful. Oh my god, guys, this place is so beautiful. The water is so blue. I need to get my goggles and go in there. Oh, that is deep. Water is so deep. Like 
quite scary. You can't watch them. You can only see some fallen palm trees. Okay guys, this place is insane. The water is so blue, the coconuts, the palm trees, earth is so beautiful, planet earth is so beautiful. The plan for now is we just left the Cenote Azul. We're going to meet with our friends Sergio and Lola and we are going to Tulum. We're going to travel for two days with them. We are so excited. See? Okay. Bluebirds. Bluebirds. It's, a, it's an easy ride, baby. <laughs> Here we are with Lola and Sergio, it's and it's just two it's hours just like, to Tulum. Just arrived in Tulum. Oh my god, I just filmed the whole outro, and it was in slow mo, and now we have to do it all again. over again. Manon does this weekly, <laughs> every vlog. If you think like why does she put so many slow-mo shots in her videos because she doesn't plan to But she always puts the camera on slow-mo. So we plan to stay for three days. Is this days. a slow-mo? No. Is it? I'm going to check it. So it's not in slow-mo. Not in slow-mo. If you guys plan on going there for just one or two days reconsider because we plan to stay there for one or two days but we stayed for over a week because yeah, it it's was just amazing. so amazing over there. Get a sailboat, go across the Laguna, go visit the different cenotes in the neighborhood, watch out in Cenote Negro, there's a crocodile. Yeah, from two and a half meters, don't swim there. Yeah, go to Cenote Azul, it's amazing. Oh my god, there are just Have so many good vibes. Yeah, <laughs> have a lot of cocktails. It's one of those magical places that you see yourself retiring in. I mean, when I'm 60, 70 years old, we're I'm, just going to cruise we're all just day. gonna go back to Bacalar and drink mezcal and cruise on a sail ship across the Laguna. Let's 70. retire in Bacalar. It's a plan. We met amazing people, and right now we're going to Tulum. The one place, place we said we wouldn't go. Because we thought but it we, was so touristy. But we met some amazing people, joined them to Tulum, and then from there on we're probably gonna discover the rest of the south coast. Yes. All up until Cancun and take a plane to somewhere else. We just go with the flow. You'll have to watch the vlog next Monday to see what the next plan is. Please at least hit that like button. YouTube has put in a lot of priority on it lately. So just liking a video means a lot for does us. Does a lot for this little melon with her boyfriend. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss what our next plan is gonna be. Yes. Hey. So thank you so much, guys, for following this adventure. Thumbs up if you like this video. If you got any good tips where to go in Mexico after the South Coast, let us know let as us well know because comments. we're not sure yet. Keep up the good vibes. And see you next Monday. Woo!